Strap in. Oh, battle at the net for the first point. Ubali wins it. Through this competition so far, they've won three of their four sets, 21 to eight. Oh. That is not something you see very often at the World Tour level, much less a World Championship level. Their careers, they're just playing so smooth. As you mentioned, back-to-back -back bronze medals and then... Oh, that's a lovely dig. Great read. Still had to stretch every sinew to get there and then makes it pay by winning the point. Which is her opposite hand and then gets up in the short poke back. 4-4. Four, four. It's that left-handed serve. On oh, a monster block. Good run this for Germany. Airtight doesn't have a whole lot of room to go and just a really nice like she did right there and creating those alleys and, and those little low lines that she just hit right there. And, and it, it was just such a good job of fending off a very off good serves. This one here, another tough one and a very good option. So Bruno with the serve. Once again, that cultured left hand goes to work. Tanya Huberly, they are so explosive. Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to watch a ton of them. The last time I watched them was in the, the finals of the Sochi. It's a close one. Germany edging that end by four points to three. Switzerland receiving the serve. Oh, where has that block dropped? And Schneider's left hand gets us back in the way. Bruna. No mistake this time. Take advantage of this momentum. But momentum doesn't last long when you're facing swings like that. I keep, in my head, I keep calling her Nina Betchard as that's what she's went by for the last couple <laughs> of years, but was married in the offseason, especially when both of these teams are guaranteed playoff matches to play. And as we've discussed, with how deep the World Tour is, it doesn't matter if, if you're on the men's side or the women's side. It, any of the 32 teams can beat anyone, and that's a huge block. A timely block to tie matters up out of the timeout. 11-11. She's going to find the open space. She's going to hit poke shots and line shots and cut shots and jumbos, and she will find so many different ways to score. She's so smart. She, her game, actually, it, it resembles a little bit of what we saw from Adrian Carambola. But you just have to take advantage of the times where she doesn't hit the perfect shot and be ready for those. Here we go again. See where the defense is giving them space and then them capitalizing on it. But for to make that rapid calculation between here's the space and here's what I need to do to hit and beat the defense, it's just such mental alacrity for the offensive player. And they have gone perfect this entire world championship so far. Their closest set has been 21 to 12. Already Germany has played them closer than any team has played them in a single set. So I think this is a super valuable experience for them to have. And what a beautiful, beautiful poke shot. And as it goes by, you send up a couple Hail Marys and have a discussion above and say, thank you very much. I'll take that two inches out. Oh, what a lovely late adjustment there. Bruna to serve. Seventeen, seventeen. Oh, that one is off the block, and Switzerland back ahead. Different stratosphere up there. And then the response comes from Germany. Switzerland, two points away. And again, Germany produce something brilliant. And they win it with an ace. An error on the reception at the most inconvenient of times, it must be said. But what a superb opener. Well, the second set getting underway. A third of the court in shadow now. And the floodlights casting their shadow across the net as well. Oh, my goodness. Ace followed by ace. One opens the second. And that is just straight down the middle.
both moved towards the ball, then moved away. Couldn't quite handle it. So back-to-back -back aces to start the first set. And is it three? Barely fended off. Well, Schneider might have thought she was on for a hat trick there. You don't see that very often. Athletic up. Now the chance for Bruna to put some ink in the ledger for Switzerland. And she does. Here is Bruna. In golf, great club selection. That is a perfect comparison. Doesn't need... There's a great dig at the back of the court, but Schneider back at the service line after those two aces to get him underway. Puts it out to the right this time. And then a battle at the net. Plenty on that serve. Half in the sun, half in the shade, and you can see Nina Brenner coming out of the shadow, serving it into the sun, and there is almost another ace getting a free ball opportunity in return. Well, that is the end to be at, isn't it? Now here's Bruna. Hammers it across court. Great pickup. Oh, and this time Switzerland. Oh, that's a nice touch at the net. So the local time, 10 past six. Tell your friends you're busy. You've got beach volleyball to watch. 8-8 eight, eight in the second. Germany on serve. Oh, not for long, though. Setting a lefty on the left is not an easy thing to do. You have to push it a little bit further, especially in transition. Just really well done by Bo Schneider for the dig and Ellinger for the set. 10-9, Switzerland. Oh, another flat serve. Forces the pass into the net. And serving has been the biggest difference in this one. That's been the most effective ways for teams to earn points. There have not been a lot of oh. blocks. And she heard me. She must have heard me calling her out for not having a lot of blocks. And just like that, after this match, it's single elimination. It's one and done. So this is very valuable experience for both teams to respond. Because we've seen runs being made by both. We've seen Germany go on some big runs in both sets. We've seen Switzerland. So Bruna with the serve. Two thirds of the court in shade now. The, the golden currency in beach volleyball is opportunities. You, you just want to keep collecting as many opportunities in transition as you can. And opportunity here for Germany to pick up a quick one. But Hooverly just continues to play. Very good image of whether there was a touch or not, and absolutely no touch there. What a, a good system, and an ace oh. serve for Switzerland. Hubli and Bruna turning up against another great team, sending a bit of a warning shot across the entire tournament. Give herself an approach to make a swing. Tanya Hubli is playing the most impressive match I've seen all morning, which is something because we've seen a lot of volleyball. It is. I, I can I can nerd out on beach volleyball all day long. So this is exactly how I'd want to be spending my day, just watching perfect beach volleyball being played. And Tanya Huberly, what do you know? The offensive end just continues. I, I would love to see her side out percentage at the end of this match. So what it ends up becoming is an extra timeout, where even if you know that it's out of bounds, if you want to just take a break and, and use an extra second, just signal for a challenge, even if you know you're probably not going to win the call. It's smart, just using the system however yeah. you can. Second ball play. Good dig to keep the ball alive. Last chance saloon here for Germany. And another good dig. Sends it skywards. Oh, but then a handling error called. That's a tough one. But as we said, I mean, Switzerland very much in control here. But this match, both teams are moving on. So if you're Sandra Itlinger and you want to test out, see if you can handset that ball... Test it out. Serving for the match. Or well, serving to stay in the match, should I say. Chance to win it down the line. From Bruna. 
Her and Hubli embrace. They are three from three. Diving one-handed dig down the line from Isabel Schneider or just a really good float ace. But we haven't seen Switzerland give up a run, which is how you stay in sets, how you stay in games, and, and ultimately how you keep opponents from scoring more than eight points.